Hello all, it's your girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your Poetic Psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond. Also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If you would be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. So please take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not. Remember that this reading may apply to your past, your present, or your future, as well as it may be pertaining to you or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. With that being said, guys, we're going to get started. I do hope y'all are doing well and feeling well on tonight. So let's see what's going on with you all. Um, um, somebody could be coming into some type of success, triumph, victory, or even public recognition of some kind, okay? Um, this could be a very victorious time for you. Something could be being publicly recognized. Um... This can obviously have something to do with your your career, your occupations, your talent, skills, abilities, your hobbies, okay? We got the Ace of Cups here, okay? I feel like this success, triumph, and victory um, is going to give you extreme feelings and overwhelming emotions. The Ace of Cups talks about emotional fulfillment of some kind here, okay? So, let's see what else is going on here. You definitely have a lot of options, a lot of choices, a lot of different decisions to make here with the Seven of Cups here, okay? Each of these cups are, are filled with something else, okay? It's like you can choose what direction you want to go in. Um, there's several different choices or decisions that you can make, several different options that you have here, okay? This success, triumph, or victory that you're coming into, this emotional fulfillment, I feel like it's opening new doorways or, or, or enabling you with more options um, to choose from, okay? Yeah, we have the Nine of Cups, which talks about a hope, wish, or dream coming true for you, okay? So something that you've hoped for, prayed for, wished for, dreamt of, desired, been yearning for, um, is coming true for you, Okay? Some of you could be going into a commitment, okay? Um, I do see a messenger here. Somebody could be, um, a messenger could be coming in, uh, delivering you some type of messages of some kind here, okay? Um, you could also be coming into some type of, you could be in this giving and receiving type of energy. Um, whoever you are, you could be, like I said, very giving, very charitable, or what have you. But you could also be coming into some type of, um, gift of abundance, generosity, uh, finances, money, resources, stability, security. This could even be donations that's coming to you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Okay. Spirit, um, why is this? Yeah. Whoever you are, you're shining very brightly. Okay. I feel like you have high hopes for the future here. The star talks about hope. Okay. Um, other people can see your light. You're definitely shining very bright. You're like a shooting star. Okay. The sky is the limit with you. Spirit, what else is going on with the collective? So I, I, I feel like this emotional fulfillment that you are having, it has something to do with, yeah. This will is turning in your favor here. I've seen the Ace of Pentacles as well here. I feel like, like there's some type of gift of abundance, okay, um, that is coming to you from like a higher power, okay, beyond this world, okay. The, the, the will talks about luck. Um, it taps into prosperity and stability and security and abundance and different things as well. But this will is turning in your favor here, okay? This may have something to do with your occupation, your profession, your job, your career of some kind here. I feel like you have several different options in um, choices or decisions in what direction you want to go and what you want to do as it relates to um, the work that you do and the money that you make. Okay, so we clarify the nine of uh, cups here. Somebody could be, uh, want to collaborate with you in some type of way, okay? 
if that is something that you are uh, interested in, you want to definitely make sure you read over contractual agreements thoroughly. Anything that you don't understand, you want to definitely make sure that you, you get some type of um, counsel, some type of legal uh, expertise to, you know, look over documentations that you don't understand, okay? Um, there is a lot of jealousy, envy, hatred, spitefulness, competition here as well. I see you even being kind of, uh, yeah, I see you being kind of defensive, feeling like you need to protect yourself as it relates to some type of contractual agreement or collaborations here okay um getting in that type of commitment would have you stuck and trapped and restricted in some type of way or unable to move or get out of a situation here I, it looks like for eight years if you went into the collaboration that i'm seeing here you would be stuck in it for like eight years Okay, you will be restricted. Okay, there's a lot of things that's hidden and secret and covered up as it relates to that collaboration here, okay? There's a lot of jealousy, envy, hatred, spitefulness, competition, even or even strife because of some type of um, wish fulfillment, okay, that you are receiving here. So you're kind of like the six of coins here. Clarify the six of coins here. You want to be very careful, you know, who you who you mix and mingle with, okay? Yeah, there's people who are literally in mental conflict that I'm seeing. They're not only jealous and envious and intimidated by you or in competition with you because these hopes, wishes, and dreams are coming true for you. There's persons who are in mental conflict. Um... There are people who want to, I feel like, betray you in some type of way. Sabotage you. Sacrifice. Like, you need, you need to be careful who you deal with. So, we have the higher thing here. Okay, you could be receiving some type of gift of generosity from someone who is in this higher fin energy here. However, this could be your energy here. You could be someone who's a natural born leader. You could be in a position where you help and heal or teach or guide uh, others in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Or this could be where this generosity is coming from. It's interesting because if, it's, if this is another person here, for somebody, this is someone who may be an ordained minister or a religious leader or something like that. This person is actually jealous of you. It's like this person is coming in to give you some type of gift of generosity here. But I feel like this person is one of the individuals who have been competing with you, who has been working against you, who is jealous and envious of you because of the work that you do, because these hopes, wishes, and dreams are coming true for you because of the options that you have. Yeah, I keep seeing something here about a collaboration, okay? But you, again, I'm seeing that you're very defensive towards this. You feel like you need to protect yourself in some type of way. I definitely feel like, like you definitely don't want to go with like the first deal or the first offer or something that you're made or, you know, that's that, that comes to you here. I feel like it's going to be like a stuck them and fuck them type of deal. They're going to offer you the, the, the bare minimum that they can offer you. It's going to be an amount that you've never seen before, but you're worth more than what they're going to offer. And they know it. And whatever it is that you do for work, these people are not only want to have you stuck, restricted, unable to move or get out of a contractual agreement, but like literally take control and possession of your work here yeah spirit is saying that's the truth that that's clarity here okay they're gonna make it seem like this this is some victorious type of offer or deal that is coming to you but like you're already in the six of pentacles eight of pentacles will of fortune on your own they're offering you the three of pentacles for whatever this collaboration is okay but in your defense, you got a right to be defensive towards it because this situation is going to lead you to heartache and heartbreak here. Somebody is hoping that you are foolish, you, you foolishly blindly take a leap of faith into this situation here, okay? Yeah, but you would end up selling your soul to the devil here. You would end up being chained to the devil. 
I don't like that situation at all. Yeah. Look at this. The magician and the death card here. Okay? Somebody is trying to, to like, woo you or win you over with uh, spell work so that they can sacrifice you. Yeah. Look at that. Ten of swords, bottom of the deck, betrayal, disloyalty, sabotage, ruin, endings. Okay? It's a setup. It's a setup. Yeah. There's a lot of things that's being hidden and kept secret from you, from this emperor. Somebody's in power. Somebody who is in authority. This person, there's a lot of sneaky, freaky, creepy things that's going on behind the scenes with this person. This could be the person who is offering you some type of collaboration or some type of deal or something. This person is trying to get over on you. They, with all intents and purposes, they plan to betray you, okay? They're going to be doing some type of spell work on you, um, manipulating you until they can sacrifice you here, okay? The moon talks about secret things, hidden things, what's done in the dark. It talks about illusions, fear, uh, hiding things, dilemmas, um, uh, shady people, dirty dealings, sneaky, freaky, creepy shit, low down and dirty shit, even criminal activity here, okay? This person is not to be trusted. He's looking directly at the moon here. He's definitely keeping secrets from you about the situation. You definitely don't need to take this, this get in this collaboration here. Whatever this collaboration, whatever this deal, it's, it's not worth it, okay? It's not worth selling your soul, selling your ass. It's not worth it. But somebody's going to make it seem like, you know, this is a great opportunity. This is very victorious for you. Yeah, they're lying to you. They're going to cheat you. They're going to steal from you, okay? And they're going to be sneaking and creeping around trying to get away with something. They're liars, cheaters, thieves, manipulators, and con artists, spirit is saying. Whoever this emperor is in power here, okay? Yeah. I see you with a lot of motivation and determination right now, okay? You have clear vision. You've made decisions. You're moving forward. You're taking action, okay? You know what you want to do in your life, and you are moving towards that, okay? Definitely a lot of abundance that's coming in for you. Nine of Pentacles. Now you have the six, eight, and the nine of Pentacles here, okay? You've worked really hard, and your hard work is paying off for you. Spirit is saying, happiness, abundance, new beginnings, fulfillment, fresh starts, second chances, okay, adventures, okay, it's coming in for you. You're going to be able to rejoice in celebration, okay? But these people who are jealous, envious, and intimidated by you, they want to cause some type of conflict. They want to cause strife and conflict, okay? It's like they want some type of retaliation, revenge, payback, or punishment, okay? Because hopes, wishes, and dreams are coming true. Yeah, because you have been, God's grace is on you, okay? Because you are being gifted, abundant, from the most high, from a higher power, from other realms here, okay? And you had a lot of people who are jealous and envious because of this. You have a lot of people who want to cause conflict because of this. So you're clarify the Six of Pentacles is Hierophant. What is this Six of Pentacles Hierophant energy here? This may be somebody in your family. Okay, I see the Ten of Cups here. So somebody who is in a higher fan energy that's in your family, this person is going to come along and, and give you some type of gift of generosity here in a way that they've never been generous or given to you before. But this is the same person that caused conflict in your life, caused battles and hardships and problematic situations in your life. This is the same person who is jealous, envious, and intimidated by you as well. Okay? who's been attacking you with all the others, okay? But you have clear vision, okay? I feel like you know this, okay? You still are, you have clear vision. You're making wise decisions. You're moving forward. You're taking action, okay? That's what's going on here, guys. That's what's going on here. So we're going to get um, some further clarification for this situation, you guys. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, there's some type of material harvest that is coming in for you, okay? You're going to be able to rejoice in celebration, okay? This is going to bring you extreme feelings and overwhelming emotions. This is definitely going to make you very happy, okay? You're coming into some type of recognition and reward, Spirit is saying. Yeah, you're like this shooting star, okay? 
The sky's the limit, okay? You With this accelerated motion here, you're moving forward regardless to your haters, your oppressors, your naysayers, those that's called, trying to cause conflict and strife, who are jealous and envious and spiteful and hateful towards you, okay? Yeah, look at this. You got new beginning, destiny, and universe here. The universe is working in your favor. You're stepping out on faith. You're taking a leap of faith. You're having some type of new beginning. This is part of your destiny, okay? Um, and the universe is working on your behalf. Okay? The universe is definitely working on your behalf. Whoever this higher thing is that want to come in and try to give you some type of gift of generosity here, this person may want to act like they want to give you some type of truth or clarity or tell you some type of truth or clarity about something here. Um... I don't feel like this person is going to tell you the whole truth here because this person is still in this deception and this envy energy here okay you know who this person is you see, you can see this person's face this person normally wears a mask they normally cloak themselves hide themselves okay um hide who they truly are okay but you know who this person is okay yeah, see, this person in power and authority, they want you to have some type of partnership and alliance with them here, okay? Whoever this person is in a power, they want you to be a part of some type of witch coven, uh, satanic cult, secret society, some type of click club, group gang or something or what have you, but this situation would leave you in emotional withdrawal and they would sacrifice you here, okay? Yeah, that's what's going on here, y'all. That is definitely what's going on here. Um, Spirit, what is this? Clarify this Eight of Coins here. Somebody could be into music. Clarify the Eight of Coins, Spirit. You could work with crystals. Okay, some of you could be doing some type of traveling. clarify this person's job this person's work you have some type of connection to music okay it's healing for yourself and others you're a healer okay you have a spiritual gifts of healing and a desire to share it with others spirit is saying I keep seeing music music keeps wanting to pop out here but I'm not really getting that you are a musician or anything or like um, I keep seeing music something with music somebody whoever these people are they, they may be from the music industry but I'm not getting music industry from you whoever you are you are a healer okay I feel like you can heal and help people in many different ways it's kind of like myself like I I I I write, okay? Like, I can write music, but I don't want to sing or rap. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could go to the studio and lay a track, you know what I'm saying? Drop some bars or something. But, like, I, if I did so, it would be for fun. Not because this is what I want to do with my life, you know, type of thing. Whoever these persons are, this collaboration here, they're they're from the music industry. I, that card has popped out three times on its own. And every time I put it back in the back in the deck and shuffle again and it pops right back out somebody somebody wants you doing something for the music industry or something you are a healer though okay you're all about love and light here okay spirit is saying your purpose is to bring divine healing light and love to this world here okay like i said you're a healer you could even be a speaker okay your life purpose involves your skills of orientation what does this person, what else does this person do for a living or what is their life purpose? Yeah, we got freedom and heart's desires here. So spirit is saying that you are free to, to do what you choose here. That kind of ties into that seven of cups here, okay? You are, you have several different options to choose from as to what you want to do. And I feel like this heart desires ties into this nine of cups, your hopes, wishes, and dreams coming true. Spirit is saying that the angels are supporting, guiding, and protecting you as your dreams become reality here, okay? So, yeah. 
and we do have time to decide at the bottom of the deck so i feel like you're making some type of decision okay spirit is telling you to make a decision based on your heart's true desires you have heart's desires here okay make sure you make the right decision this is a bad deal here this is a bad deal here this is shady people here um they're not up front they're gonna lie to you they're gonna cheat you they're gonna beat you they're gonna steal from you okay um, they're trying to sacrifice, they plan to sacrifice you in the long run. They want to control your work, steal your work, um, manipulate and control you. There's a lot of things that's going to be secret, hidden, and kept from you. These people will betray you, sabotage you, stab you in your back, okay? Um, somebody is doing spell work on you to try to sway your opinion or your feelings about maybe the industry or working with these people. But you know, I feel like you may intuitively know that these people like something is not right they're trying to sacrifice you okay you wouldn't be wrong in thinking that they want you to blindly be in this full energy and blindly take a leap of faith and sell your soul to the devil here okay to be a part of this three of pentacles this contract here okay I, I you're defensive about this okay you feel like you need to protect yourself you know what else the nine to one says a sacrifice needs to be made here so you getting a part of this contractual agreement this collaboration you would have to sign a contract a black contract you would have to take an oath and you would have to come up with some type of sacrifice here okay you blindly take this leap of faith and sell your soul to the devil they're gonna have you under mind control uh, manipulate you with spell work they're gonna sacrifice you in the long run or either you're gonna have to come off a blood sacrifice of someone near and dear to you or close to you this is betrayal this is disloyalty i feel like they want to sacrifice you this is betrayal, disloyalty. This is be you being stabbed in the back, but baby, way back up here. When you sign that contract, is is it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Okay? And you're gonna be stuck. You're gonna be trapped like the eight of swords, stuck, restricted, unable to move or get out of a situation here. This emperor here, this father, father figure, this leader that's empowered, that's an authority, that holds some type of structure, organization, that's a master or ruler or something. This person is looking directly at the moon. Okay? Secret things, hidden things, what's done in the dark, moon magic, fear, illusions, decisions being made, okay? Dilemma, shady people, dirty dealings, criminal activity here. This person is planning to lie, cheat, steal from you, period, point blank here, okay? Yeah, power, partnership and alliance. This will have you in emotional withdrawal, okay, until they sacrifice you here. And I see music here. Something has to do with music, music industry, or something here, okay? That's what's going on here, y'all, okay? So I do thank you all for listening and for watching. If you'll be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it will be greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, for those of you who would like to contact me, you can do so at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is shine bright like a diamond 36 with the underscore between each word. Yeah, we have the divine feminine here. So you are a divine feminine that um, is resonating with this reading here. Okay. Um, remember to continue to cleanse, meditate, clear your space, remove negativity from you, okay? I feel like there's a lot of pretending, fake, phony uh, type of individuals that like living beyond their means. Um, that may try to come back around you like this person here that wants to come in all of a sudden with some type of gift of generosity. You are ascending, okay? You're on your spiritual path. You've had a major awakening. You're single. Uh, you're free to mingle, Spirit is saying. Yeah, you are a writer, okay? With this journal here, with this writing here, okay? Some type of financial support is coming in for you. Spirit is saying, okay? Yeah, I see poison here. There's some toxic be people, um some poisonous toxic unhealthy behaviors of, of people okay that is here this could be these people who are jealous envious and intimidated by you who's caused conflict for you okay keep your energy pure clean meditate clear your space remove all negativity from around you okay you could be seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities right now spirit is saying there could be some type of meeting with two or more people, discussions and planning as it relates to something here. This could have something to do with this col this collaboration, this contract.
yeah you could be receiving some type of settlement here as well this could be tied into this financial support but this could be two, two totally different things here okay yeah whoever this fake phony whoever this person is that's wearing this mask and not who they appear to be they're pretending they're fake they like living beyond their means this person going to come in with some type of generosity here okay they're still full of deception and envy this is one of these poisonous uh, toxic unhealthy behavior type of people this person is on the verge about to reveal or confess something to you here but i feel like this person is still going to be lying to you okay um, I still see retaliation, punishment, payback, revenge here. These people who are in competition with you, jealous and envious of you, causing conflict for you. These poisonous, toxic people, they still trying to get some type of re retaliation. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to um, attack you in some type of way here, okay? Here to see that you're protected by Archangel Michael here. You have protection. You're prevented from harm. Um, and this also speaks to divine intervention, okay? I definitely feel like um, this is going to give you a wave of emotion. This is definitely emotional fulfillment, okay? Whoever these people are um, who want you to be a part of some type of contract or something like that with excess granted here, these people are watching you on social media, on the fake profiles, they're hiding, they're searching online looking for information and records on you as well. Yeah, see, these people are on this hamster wheel. they all about the money here, okay? And trust and believe me when I tell you, whatever amount of money that somebody offer you in some type of contractual agreement or deal, okay, when people offer you money, you need to understand that you are worth uh, probably about five to ten times more than what they offer you, okay? When somebody invests in you, whatever amount that they are willing to invest in you this person as a businessman or woman already know that they're going to be able to make their money back that they invested in you you know times two or three or four or five times more you understand what i'm saying okay so for instance if a man gives you a if if, if a man invests a million dollars into you he already knows he can make five million off of you you understand what i'm saying if a man uh, 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 um, gives you or, you know, gives you some type of sign-on bonus or something for a half a million dollars, that's $500,000, he knows that he can make uh, a million and a half, two million off of you. You understand what I'm saying? People who are already in position, people in, who are in, in higher positions than you already in positions, okay? They're in the business of making money. They make the deals that they make for the sole purpose for them making money. So if they come towards you with anything, okay, this is about the money that you can make them, what you can do for them, okay? Yeah, it might be your hard work, your talent, your skill, your ability, all of that, okay? But trust and believe me, you won't have a, you won't make a fraction of what they will make off of you, okay? Even if you're someone who is very good at what you do and, and have the uh, possibility to becoming something very great and saying, I mean, just look at the cats that you see in the industry right now, okay, who are, say, millionaires right now, billionaires right now. Don't you know the people who brought them on, who they signed to, made way more money off of them than they have right now. And, and I'm talking about people who are millionaires and billionaires right now. There are people that they worked under, worked for, signed to, who went, who made way more money off of them than they ever made. Okay? You have to keep that in mind too, okay? Because somebody wants to have a grip on you, an anchor, a chain. They want to have you weighed down. They want you to have you stuck, trapped. Okay, that's like that eight of swords type of energy. Somebody want to have you bound, stuck, restricted to some type of contract. Okay. Okay, guys. So for those of you who would like to um, 
donate to the channel, you can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tip diamond three six, or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash add three six diamond. Okay. Also, guys, whatever is going on, somebody may want to interview you, interview you. Okay. This is talk, conversation, get on the same page. Somebody may want to pay to interview you, okay? Whoever this person is who wants to interview you is a drama queen or king. They're thirsty and they like to cause chaos, okay? A lot of people get caught up in these interviews and you get in these interviews and, and you know what I'm saying, they try to stunt in front on you and put you on blast and go off script and talk about things that wasn't previously discussed and all kinds of things or whatever live on national television and different things. Don't get set up in that way either, okay? Set your own standards, okay, for how you want to... Um, speak with people on what you want to do and different things okay because if you give a person an inch they will take them out okay and if you don't stay in control of your own mind somebody else will come along and control it for you okay yeah they got people in the industry for that they got people in the government for that you understand somebody could want to interview you Okay, guys, so as always, y'all take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your baby, sonny. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There is wickedness in high places, and there is evil that's lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings. Watch the company you keep, watch surroundings and the company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, honey, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared because if you stay ready you ain't gotta get ready baby until the next time peace love and light namaste i am that i am created in the image of god okay last two messages that fell out here guys we got uh obsession and insatiable okay somebody has an obsession for you okay they feel like they must have you they want to indulge with you okay um they have this insatiable unquenchable uh energy about you they want more okay it could be these persons in the industry this could be somebody totally different or something here okay but somebody has this obsession and insatiable feeling about you okay and you got a lot of people that's jealous and envious and intimidated by you okay um this may be a soulmate person who has this obsession insatiable uh, feeling about you it could be someone totally different yeah it's a divine masculine though whoever it is it's a divine masculine okay honey on um, to the next time peace love and light namaste